Yes, Messi AK and Adekule finally kissed and made up. Now I'm not talking about actual kiss. I'm talking about like hugged and made up. What she just did now, taking the thing to walk away, it's fine. She might be ahead of us tomorrow. I can do the same as well. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. Thank you for clicking. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love you so much with all of my heart. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Adekunle, you will lose your first wager. And I promise you, because I will not come out again. Yes, you guys will do that. So it is not news that Messi and Adekunle had a fallout last night. So I'm going to tell you what happened. You guys, you know, I've said it from my previous video that last night, I mean, yesterday in general, was a long day, both for me and the housemates, because now so then they stress me. So, because of how long the day was, how draggy from the head of house to the black envelope and everything, Adekule just made up his mind that, okay, yes, yeah, so he's head of house, they've declared him head of house. It was his first day as head of house. So, he just said, okay, let's just chill out for the day and then maybe do our rehearsal. I've already shot that video where people have given them a task for the week that's their wager task. But Messi, AK, Alex, and some other housemates were sitting in the garden and just relaxing and saying, ah, what are we doing now? Let's just, you know, rehearse for the wager. So Messi took the bold step to go and meet Adekunle to say, Adekunle, you are head of house, so please coordinate your people so that we'll rehearse. However, she didn't say it the way I just said it now. She went and said, Adekunle, Adekunle, I promise you, you are going to lose this wager. I promise you, you will lose your first wager. Mama, you didn't swear for the boy. Are you swearing for him? Anyways, Adekunle was shakam about it. He was like, everybody is tired. We are going to rehearse tomorrow. She was not like, stop doing this thing you are doing. These people that you are here sitting with, because he was talking with Soma, Angel, and just some other people. All these people you are here, just sitting with and talking with. When they become head of her, they're going to be carrying shoulder like this. This is what they'll be carrying shoulder for you. So come, let's go and do this thing. Let's go and rehearse. It's not like you haven't sleeping. Let's just go outside. You are here, yeah, this thing, and you say you're tired. If you were sleeping, I would say, okay, maybe you're tired. But the fact that you're up, this thing. So she shall talked and then she walked out. Cross was not like, okay, oh, let's go and rehearse. Oh, if they say let's rehearse, let's go and rehearse. Cross shall walked out and followed her. Then much later, Big Brother delivered a package to them from Money Point. So Adekunle, when he called everybody to read the brief and also just show them the, the content of what Big Brother brought, he took that time to just explain that, oh, this is the reason why I don't want us to do the whole wager tax presentation today because we were tired. While he was talking about wager tax, that's how Messi stood up again and walked out on him. Yo! Anyways, so when Messi walked out of him, he just started expressing his displeasure about that her behavior. He said what she did was rubbish and it doesn't make any sense that the fact that he was talking and she walked out on him and the way she even came and just said, oh, I promise you, you're going to lose your wager and wanting him to do what she wants. It doesn't make any sense that she's going to be ahead of us one day and he probably is going to do that to her just because he wants her to know how it feels. But anyways, he has said it. There's no need to talk about wager tonight and everything. They're going to, you know, focus on it the next day. And yeah, when the meeting was over, a few housemates went, tried to, you know, get Messi's own opinion about the whole thing and why she did what she did. So she now started explaining that she came and called them to come to the garden so they would rehearse. Adekule said no, that they were not coming. And Pere was like, that was not the information um, Adekule gave us. He said, you said this. She was not like, why are they lying? But there was just a miscommunication there. Messy, you are making it look like you just went and said, Oh, Adekunle, I know you're head of house, so but let's go and rest. No, you did not come with that approach. We understand, and even Adekunle said this when he was making his speech that he understands that her intention was good and she was doing it out of love. And they, she also really wants them to win the wager. He understands that, but that was no way to go about it. And I also like the fact that Adekunle didn't even really take her advice or the way she just came and talked to him, then he will not start following her because, first of all, he's the head of house, he makes the rules and decisions. Yes, her good intentions is good but then that's not any way to go about it because if Adekule had followed that now so for them to say ah Adekule na woman rapa Adekule no get mind of your own in they fear all these senior housemates because now nah, nah, junior and senior secondary school nowadays so they are saying they fully, but anyways it is what it is after everything is said and done this morning Meseke kept standing her ground that oh she, she doesn't feel bad she didn't do anything wrong but a lot of people told her that see the way you went about it is not good yes you wanted this but it's not good so this morning she went and then they spoke about it and both of them understood themselves and they ended with a hug.
dog. Anyways, away from that, let's talk about Soma and Angel. You people and sheep. Leave sheep alone. Let sheep leave you. What happened? Well, I might like to come to you and inform you that Soma has said that he has a girlfriend. Yes. He has a girlfriend outside the house. So stop the shipping already. And he didn't just reveal this out of the blues. He went and had a conversation with Cross. You know, Cross and Angel had a thing that they were doing that time when they were in the show that time. And when they came out of the house, it looks like he continued because they were buying themselves gifts until they had a fallout. So when they came into the house, we realized that they were really not talking and they've not really crossed paths so much. So Soma went and he met Cross and like, see, I know that I'm close with Angel or being, you know, she'll sit on my lap or here and there, but I promise you nothing is going on with us. I have a girlfriend outside the house and everything that is happening is just cruise. Nothing is happening. I just wanted to clear that out. And Cross was like, he appreciates the fact that he came and met him, but he should feel free even if he wants to do anything. That yes, him and Angel during their time on the show, they had a good time. But you see right now, things happened, they fell out and they've moved on from it. So he should continue. So I really, really like this whole bromance going on between Soma and Cross. And I like the fact that he's climbing the air, both with Angel and maybe his girlfriend outside. Moving on from that. Now let's talk about Ilebaye God. I understand that Eleba is a Gen Z and she probably understands and relates with things differently. But there are some things that she does and I'm just like, I saw a clip of her talking to Angel and Soma about somebody in the house that is annoying her. If you know that you don't want to give these people the full detail of this conversation, why are you even bringing it up? They said they're asking her who she refused to talk. Okay, what did the person do? She said, oh, the person said something that really, really pissed her off. Okay, don't tell us who. Just tell us what the person said so that we'll understand why it pissed you off so much. This girl still no great talk. AJ was like, tell her, what, what are you, like, was even pressing her neck. Ilebaye is still no great talk. See, now I don't know what they talk about. But I'm feeling that maybe it's either going to be um, Venita or Charles. Now, Venita, I know they step on people's toes lately. And also, I saw how entitled she was talking about the fact that Adekule didn't pick her as one of the BFFs because they were from the same level. First of all, you were not close to Adekule during your time on the show. You people were in two different levels, never stayed in the same house during your time on the show. You people didn't cross paths except at the arenas and Saturday night parties. And outside the house, you people were not friends. So why are you just expecting him to be loyal to you simply because he went to the same show? Like, no, it doesn't work that way. He needs to make new friends. He needs to meet new people. You know, different things there on the ground. Then you call it a thing because I like, I'm being a problem. No, that won't work. It won't work. Anyways, what do you think about that? I feel like she's been entitled and she doesn't really deserve to just wake up and be saying, oh, Adekunle should pick me. But yeah, that's what she thinks. And I understand that if she expects some form of, okay, well, let's do a level thing. If they have had that conversation and then he just went back on his words, I would say, okay. But they didn't even have that conversation. You just thought about it in your head and just expected. If it's you, I don't even think you will pick him. But until then, we'll not know. But she said she's going to be putting him up for eviction, Sha. We're looking forward to that. Moving away from that, in this same conversation, Ilebaya was talking to Doi, and Doi also was telling her that maybe he just picked randomly and because he was on the spot, that's why he didn't really think about level things. And we know that Doi had a fallout with Adekune during the re re reunion, reunion, and because of that, they've really not been speaking. They've just been avoiding each other in the house. So she said she really needs to have a conversation with him before she knows whether she's even going to be putting him up for eviction. So yes, guys, this is all the gist that I have for you guys right now. So thank you so much. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, this is a good time too. And until next time, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.